Hey there, boys and girls, and welcome to episode 191 of Sonic Boom TV, and I got something in my eyes. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, this is a kind of a continuation of the last video, which was the Mega Hall from BC Vinyl uh, video. Um, I got in the second wave uh, a couple days later. Still have one record out there that's on its way. I think it'll probably be here tomorrow. I haven't checked um, the, uh, the sh shipping update, but um, as of Friday, it had hit New Orleans, just didn't process through. So uh, uh, we'll probably get it on Monday, uh, which is tomorrow. Uh, but this one, um, I've got maybe seven or eight records here. I'm going to show them first, um, and then we will open them uh, together, if you want to stick around for that. Let me uh, adjust this a little bit. Uh, yeah. uh, okay, so they were doing some uh, $5 shows. They've been doing a lot of $5 shows lately, uh, where the stuff starts at 5 and then, uh, you know, it probably, there's three or four different hosts that, uh, that work on there, and... They all do shows at different times of the day, and it seems like uh, there's been at least a, a five dollar show by one of these guys, if not multiple, uh, maybe every other day um, lately. Um, I know they're trying to get some new stuff in, and they're probably trying to clear their warehouse out of stuff they already have, so they can get a new shipment in. Nobody knows uh, what that's going to be, but hopefully, it'll be some good stuff. Uh, so anyway, let's start. Um, I, on a five dollar show, I uh, something popped up that they had said that they didn't have that many left, but then it seemed like they did have made at least a case or two as they started selling them. But something that uh, came up and and I liked the cover, uh, and I probably like some of the songs too. I don't remember this movie that well, um, but uh, when it came up, I knew. The value of it was probably like forty bucks, forty one dollars. Um, so popped up Pocahontas picture disc, and they were selling for five bucks. Now, as I've said before, I don't really buy picture disc, but the last video I got the Perry Grip one that was supposed to make a, a little like cartoon thing going on. Didn't work very well. Um, I, I'm gonna do a recording of it so you guys can see it. Um, but it's it looks just kind of looks like a blur. Um, but anyway, this one came up and I learned something based on this one. Uh, it, uh, back cover. And this is actually in a cover, not like the, a lot of those, uh, picture discs that are just in a plastic, you know, a bad plastic kind of thing. Uh, but anyway, when, what I learned was on whatnot that there's a button, the bid button. So whenever they put it up something, it'll start off at say $5.00. If you click it, it'll go to $6 or whatever the next bid's going to be. Well, as I put my finger on the button and started to slide it over, the price changed from 5 to 6 and then it said 7 And I tried to push it back because I didn't want to do 7 I wanted to do 5 or $6 uh, because I knew they were going to have more. If they brought out one, they were going to bring out more. Uh, and so, uh, sure enough, I, I let it go. And it, it took it, it accepted it as my bid, so I got this for seven bucks, and I was like, "Well, uh, that stinks," because I kind of wasn't sure about it, you know, as far as going seven. Not not that there's a big difference, but when you're trying to get the shipping and everything right for what kind of money you want to spend, and, and I'm on a very tight budget, so I was trying to make the money work so I can get a couple things, um, and well. It didn't really happen at the price I wanted, but that's not the point. Uh, you know, that's just being nitpicky. So anyway, I got the, this one, and I and the the uh, the chat room and the little chat lot thing, whatever they call it. Uh, I was like, well, if I bought that, I might as well buy the Dumbo because they have a Dumbo one too. And sure enough, Dumbo pops up uh, a few minutes later, and. Uh, we got the Dumbo picture disc. Um, and I I barely remember Dumbo at all, the original movie. I knew they I know they made a remake, um, but I barely remember it. I just remember when I was a little kid I liked it. And that's you know, I guess that's the picture that's on the other side. Uh it's super cute. So um, you know, Dumbo picture disc. 
you know. So there we go. So at this point, and that one I got, I did get for five dollars. So at this point, I'm like, well, uh, that's all I'm gonna get today, because as I wasn't looking to get a lot of stuff, it was you know, end of my uh, pay cycle kind of thing where. Well, I'm in a point where I can't really be spending money. The way I spend money is is so bizarre. I don't know. I don't know why I do this to myself every time. But I go from having a bunch, you know, my paycheck, paying my bills, having a bunch some money left over, to having almost nothing left over. It every time. I don't know. Too much personal information, right? Uh, so the next one, um, I did end up. Um, I saw it. And I, I thought about this one before. Thought about this one before. And since I had already bought. Uh, one of the other uh, albums by this guy. Uh, I figured I'd try another one, and um, I, I'm iffy on this one um, because it might not be exactly what I want it to be. But I got Sting and Shaggy, forty four eighty eight seventy six. I don't know what that means, uh, but uh, you know it says the hottest star, the hottest st black wait. Black 180 gram vinyl, the hottest star mashup in music today from Good Morning America. <coughs> Excuse me. Sting and Shaggy's collaborative album featuring Don't Make Me Wait, Morning Is Coming, and Dreaming in the USA, including special guests Robbie Shakespeare, Morgan Heritage, Adiana, maybe, and more. And so there's that. Um. Uh, as far as I know, uh, Shaggy is kind of a hit, uh, reggae kind of guy, um, kind of raps, I think. Um, if, I remember he had a hit song years ago. Don't remember what it was, uh, but this one may be, you know, something. Um, so, uh, you know, I figured I'd take a chance on it on a $5 show, even though I paid 7 Um So that night was done. I was like, okay, I can't buy anything else. Uh, so, then, a couple nights later, they were having another show, and I, it, it wasn't a $5 show, but I won something kind of at the beginning, and this is the first record I've got from them, because there's a big joke that we, me and the ho this particular host do, where we always talk about everything being sealed. This is the first record that I got where it's not it wasn't sealed and but I want it so it's not like I'm complaining and I'm still not complaining because it's a good it's brand new uh and and it's the hateful eight soundtrack uh and it's nice it's thick um it's uh it's two records but this this is a nice thick cover but it's it was not sealed it, it's uh, I'll show you this guys it came in this and I don't know if that was is that, that's the normal way it comes, but it, it's just open. So um, we'll talk about that one after we go through the rest of these couple more I got. And and so that was uh, that one. And then I was like, well, that eliminates the shipping for me. Because uh, once you buy the first one, or, or if you win something, they pay for the first shipping. And so after that, all you got to pay is 70 cents plus the tax, which is like 70 cents. So I kept in line with with that the theme that I had started the night before, and I went ahead and got Sting live at the Bataclan, Bataclan, Bataclan maybe. Uh, it's a record store day, uh, I think Black Friday maybe. It's so tiny the. The little thing, maybe, maybe it's either record store day or record store Black Friday. I don't know, uh, but this is a live album. Only features six songs. Uh, I'm not sure what the significance of the Bataclan is, but I've seen a couple other things. I don't know if this is a the night one of those nightclubs that something terrible happened at. I'm not sure. I, I, I'm I'd have to look it up. I just know there's been other albums recorded here live album so i'm not sure what, what the significance is but it's got uh, a couple you know six songs on it and uh really cool so and that and this one actually cost me eight dollars because it was they were they're been they've been doing instead of start a ten dollar start they they changed it to eight and it seems like a lot of people buy at eight more than they buy at ten to me um so i got this one at two dollars cheaper than it was but the shipping was also free so you know, it balanced out real well on that one. 
And then the last thing I got, um, I, I just bought one. I was I wasn't even really looking, and then I saw this, and I was like, well. I know that band. I don't have anything by them. Let me try it out. The co the cover's cool, uh, and you know I wanted to try it out. So, um, and that was and I paid eight dollars for this one. Um, this one is Seether. The I didn't see this at first. I thought it was called the Purgatory EP, but it's Wasteland the Purgatory EP. Um, it's got this hype sticker on it. The hype sticker is kind of like somebody trying to peel it or something. Uh, it says featuring Wasteland and pre four previously unreleased uh, tracks from Seether's acclaimed eighth. It's either eighth or ninth. My eyes are bugging out here. Uh, album CV Passum Parabellum, translucent red and smoky black swirl vinyl. So you guys can see that. I shouldn't have put that light back over there. Uh, let's move it. There we go. There we go. Too many, too many lights involved in this whole situation. So anyway, that's that. Back cover. Kind of neat little aliens or something or other on there. So let's start. Let's just start with this one. We'll open them up and see what they look like and uh, let the rest of you guys go home. <laughs> so this little EP. It has Wasteland, <clears throat> What Would You Do, Will It Ever End, Feast of Famine, and Wasteland altern Alternate Version on side two. So, uh, and it, the alternate version is 21 seconds longer. So we've got this printed inner sleeve. Pretty nice for an EP. Uh, a lot of times you just get a paper sleeve with those. Ooh, blood Red Final with uh, translucent, smoky, smoky bloody red. It looks lighter on the screen there to me. If I pull it, but no, you're not gonna. If you get that like that angle, is kind of what it truly looks like. If you're looking all in here where that dark is, that's what it really looks like. There you go. Kind of see it good there. So that one ought to be cool. This is the first thing I owned by them. Um, I, I you know I've heard them on the radio for a while. Um, I know they've had some hits here and there. Uh, but just never never bought anything by him. Um, so figured on this one, why not? Just wish it would have been a regular album instead of an EP, I guess. But but it's a cool looking cover, so that's good with me. Then we go back to Sting, Live at the Battle Clown, our record store day. Uh, it has Fragile, Missing in a Bottle, me Missing, Message in a Bottle, Can't Stop Thinking About You, One Fine Day, Englishman in New York, reggae remake remix and every breath you take um so that's got one it's at least three three uh police songs and then may i think the other ones are all sting songs so cool 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 oops that went a little more than i wanted to now i got the a sticker exposed to the cover so I'm gonna have to deal with that in a second you know what we're just gonna have to take it off because I don't want that sticker sticking to the cover it when I peeled it, it the edge of it is no longer on the plastic so I'll take that out save it because you know I save the stickers now we'll open it up speaking of record store day I mean uh, EPs in plain covers this is plain, plain as it gets. On a record store release, record store day release too. I'm sure this thing cost forty bucks or something. Black vinyl. Not that it won't be good, um, but I'm just saying it was probably overpriced for record store day, and then you didn't get anything else in it. So that's a little bit on the disappointing side as far as content goes, but you know, uh, but. You know, it, the music will probably good be good and be satisfied with that. Hold that up, stick it in there. Should do this off camera, wasting your time. Uh, let's pull out the Hateful Eight. Like I said, it came in this. Um, 
this is a, uh, you know, I didn't want to really buy this one because it didn't look like something that I really wanted. But it's nice, and it's, uh, you know, it's got a lot of songs. It's, uh, I believe it's all instrumental sound, you know, score kind of stuff. Um, I could be totally wrong. Um, there's a lot of stuff on there. If you want to pause that and try to read all that, go right ahead. Leave it there for a few seconds. Uh, but, uh, I don't know. But it's a nice looking thing. It's got nice uh, inner uh, key fold. Uh, tells, it says, hello dear listener, and gives you some stuff that I guess you're supposed to follow along to. Uh, nice cowboy looking stuff going on. It's, it's definitely a western movie. Um, but, the inside is nice too. We pull out all the goodies. Not a lot of goodies, but good enough goodies. Better than plain. So first we've got printed inner sleeve. This lady right here with a black eye. And then a tea kettle or coffee pot or something with blood on it. Uh, it might be a wild western movie. Then we go got this black deca label on black vinyl. I almost wish that black label was a little darker so you couldn't um, I mean I guess when you look at it like like this it does it is dark enough but when I look at it on the screen it looks almost gray so so like that so but like that it's definitely black on black so that's a nice it's actually a nice looking record um you know the nice label uh uh you know the logo nice like logo and nice i i hope i like it i mean i it, i listened to everything that i bought on the previous show um in the last two days only thing i haven't listened to is the nirvana box set um and i, and I did that because I, I wanted to get the get through all the records uh but uh, the the records, uh, you know, were all good. I mean, they were different. Some of them, some of the things that I'm not, you know, not used to listening to, uh, and some kind of, you know, new experiences, I guess. And you know, because because a couple of them were those soundtrack scores and stuff with you know that kind of I don't know if it's classical music, but it's definitely not like rock kind of music. Um, but very interesting, very good. Um, I listened to everything, enjoyed everything. So, on the second uh, record, had this uh, inner sleeve, some uh, cameramen with blood splatter, hateful eight. Um, another photo of whoever. Um, I, I never saw this movie. Uh, the score or soundtrack is by mostly by Enio Mor Morricone. Hard name to say too. And Neo Morricone. And the last thing you get with this, we're not done yet with it. Get a poster. Um, so it's, it's a wide poster. Kind of nice. Uh, I, I, you know, again, I, I don't get to hang up posters really uh, because I don't have the space in this apartment. But you got a nice hateful eight uh, poster with this cowboy, uh, you know, pulling a. Uh, some sort of wagon through snow that looks to be about three or four feet deep. <laughs> it's up to the horse's chest almost. Uh, so, you know, good deal. Uh, I'm going to look this movie up and see if it's any good. Um, I'll probably like it. I, I've, I used to be into westerns when I was a kid a lot. Um, you know, that, that kind of... It seemed like that was what was on TV when I was a little kid. Uh, they used to have the, uh, like, every weekend or something... You go to your grandparents' house or whatever, and you uh, they put the TV on, and there's like some kind of uh, all day westerns or all day karate movies or you know that kind of thing. So I, I remember watching a lot of western stuff. I remember watching like things with the Roy Rogers and all them. Um, so I might like this. I don't know what's going on with this cover. Oh, it's it's going in sideways. That was the problem. The the record doesn't go in the side. It go, I mean, the top, it goes in the side. But it needs to go in 
sideways, so you put it in that way. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So, put these to the side for now. Two more, three more. Uh, then we go back and we've got uh, the other Sting album with Shaggy. Sorry, I had to get my pick. Um, this is definitely a gatefold. Thing and Shaggy. I'm gonna show you that hype sticker one more time before it ends up inside the thing. It's off. I don't know what 44 slash 876 means. Um, so maybe I'll look that up. Um, open it up. We've got a whole bunch of photos with these guys. Uh, we've got song lyrics. Uh, not the not the best thing in the world. Um, you know the photos are. Or just like snapshots mostly um, might have been nice if they uh, if they had some, a couple bigger ones uh, you know like maybe that one of sting Let's see it uh, I am doing that pose and maybe one of them performing together I don't know can't see uh, I don't know it's okay I'm not I'm not complaining I'm not bragging on that he fooled then we've got Plain white inner sleeve, unfortunately. Black vinyl with a red label. Um, then we do get one other thing that's a little, little good. Uh, Shaggy's expression is kind of weird, but we've got one big photo of the two together. Uh, Shaggy's face is kind of like what? <laughs> Sting is like, oh no, we're doing another photo. Uh, and then on the back of it, there are more lyrics and more tiny photos. Um, so, how many songs are on this for a one LP thing? We got one. Looks like just 12 songs, maybe. Um, so, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know why it took so, long, so many... Uh, Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Looks like there's 12 songs on here. This must be something else. Oh, this is not lyrics. This is this is credits uh, of who performed and stuff. So, okay. That, that makes sense. Um, interesting little package, I guess, on that one. Now we've got two left. Uh, the two picture disc. And we'll be out of your hair for this one. Only going to take 30 minutes on this one, probably. Uh, we got Dumbo. Original motion picture soundtrack on Disney Picture Disc. Uh, good that these are in, you know, a paper sleeve. Um, no inner sleeves at all. Don't need them, really. Uh, this is plastic right here. Uh, on the inside too, um, interesting. This is it actually looks nice. I'm not. I'm not. I never was one to collect these things, um, but you know, I don't know. They are. It does look nice. If it, it's heavy, um, I don't. The the other one, the Perry Grip one, played flawlessly. I know people complained about these for a long time, and then I've heard that they've gotten better. Well, that Perry Grip one was quiet. And it was, you know, it sounded good. Um, so there was nothing wrong with it. So I fully expect this to sound good, too. Um, it's really nice. I, I just, I don't know. I, I'm still going to be, you know, I might buy some of these, more of these. But I'm gonna, I'm still going to be very particular because the picture has to be something I really want. Um, I really like. And I, I love this art. Um, so, um, you know, Disney ones will probably be better. But there's like a Cars one. And I don't really like the art on that one, so I don't think I'll... I mean, I may get it if it comes up at five bucks, but... Um, anyway, the Pocahontas uh, picture disc. Uh, songs from Pocahontas. Pic Disney picture disc. 
it says. So let that one open. And we've got... Only song I remember from Pocahontas is the Colors of the Wind song. Um, I don't know if that was Celine Dion, maybe. I don't remember. I know it was a nice, beautiful kind of song with the with the uh, you know all the the leaves and stuff blowing around in the the thing. Uh, that's another movie I haven't seen in, in years. Um, I don't know if I own it. I know I don't own Dumbo and either one of them, the new one or the old one. I I might own Pocahontas. I I, I don't know. I I was going through a, a thing where I was buying up some Disney movies, and um, I got some that were on DVD. Might even have a couple on Blu-ray, um, but then I found a bunch that were uh, on VHS, and I still have a way to play them, but I never did get around to watching any of them. So I may look into that in the near future. Um, I can usually find the these movies, uh, the VHS and stuff, at thrift stores around here, but I haven't been thrifting in whew, probably two months now. Um, you know, I don't. I'm not saying I miss it either because uh, you know I, I've gone on to do things with this vc vinyl stuff that i've you know i, I haven't had to leave that leave the house to find you know deals on on music um and music that i want so you know it's not like i'm just going in there buying scratched up records and hoping that they play well these are all brand new so it kind of replaced those those you know finds and that you get in the uh the thrift stores um, you know, and, and I'm not knocking thrift stores because I found plenty of beautiful, wonderful, awesome things there. Um, but it, you know, it's just, it's not as a hassle to, to deal with. Um, and then, you know, you don't necessarily get a great copy. So anyway, that's it for this one. I got one record coming, um, probably tomorrow, tomorrow. Um, and then after that, I don't have anything out there. Um, I don't get paid again till Thursday, so there would not be any new records this week uh, at all besides that one, and I'll probably do a show for it. Um, but uh, I don't know what the near future holds either because I need to get some other things done. I've been, you know, looking at my uh, my bills and stuff, and I'm like, I'm spending too much money on records and not enough on this other stuff that's just pending to do. And so uh, I will you know, maybe get some stuff, maybe not, I don't know, I'm, I'm more than likely gonna buy a few things, um, you know, keep, keep up with the $5 shows, but I'm not gonna go crazy, I, I hope I'm not gonna go crazy, I gotta get some things else done, whatever, um, and anyway, that's it for this, uh, episode, talk to you guys later, um, uh, I know some of you guys out there making videos too, uh, I gotta catch up with some of your stuff, uh, and I hope to see you in the comments, that's it, talk to you guys later, bye!